hello guys welcome to my youtube channel this is part 16 and in this part we will add prayer timings if you are new to my youtube channel please subscribe and press the bell icon open your android studio and uh, first of all go to pubspec.gml file we need two packages first one is as an and uh, other one is location add these two packages as uh, name dependencies come to splash screen and in splash screen i am created a user variable firebase or dot instance dot grant user here in int state method we will check if user is already registered then he will go to our main screen otherwise he will go to our login screen and uh, register himself okay now go to screen folders and uh, prayer screen in prayer screen we will get user current location for retrieving current users current location prayer timings okay now in get location first of all we will check if location dot service is enabled if it's not enabled then we will request to uh, enable it otherwise return back and uh, check if permission is granted if permission is denied then we will request user to uh, grant the permissions and if it is granted then it will return back and go to others step that is current position is equal to await location dot get location and it will get the user current location and uh, we will get latitude and longitude from current location okay now come to uh, build method and here i'm using safe area scaffold app bar okay and in body we are using future builder and in future i'm passing get location okay this method it will check if connection state is equal to waiting then it will show circular progress and we will pass latitude longitude here okay and uh, parameters calculation method dot karachi dot get parameters you can change according to yours for example and i can say turkey or uh, kuwait egyptian north america and uh, Tehran, Singapore, Qatar, all these Dubai. I'm using Karachi. That get parameters, and here you can change your madhab Hanfi, Shafi. I'm using Hanfi, and other one is prayer timings. That today and for today we will pass my coordinates and our parameters then i'm using we will return our uh, a column in which i have four or five things and in padding i put a row and this is it is returning two widgets that is our fajr and its prior timing and here date format dot gm dot format and prayer timings dot fudger it will automatically format fudger timing okay and all the other code is same it's for sunrise and other one is for zohar and asr maghrib and isha okay now we will run our app and check what's happened